Spider-Man is one of the greatest superheroes ever. From his origin to his costume, which is simply just iconic, Spider-Man is truly amazing. And in his long, long career, he has worn several other costumes besides his original one. So this is my top 10 list of Spider-Man's best costumes. One rule before we start, I'm including a costume from anyone who has ever been called Spider-Man or is part of the Spider-Family. So like Scarlet Spider and Spider-Woman. I'm also not including the classic costume since it would take number one. So let's get to it. Ten. The Scarlet Spider Suit, Ben Riley version. Ben Riley might be one of the many clones of Peter Parker, but he is the greatest one. After his first appearance, everyone thought he died, but he lived and eventually returned during the Clone Saga. At first, he tried to distance himself from the superhero life, but eventually he took the name Scarlet Spider and made his own costume. I have to admit, his costume isn't very good. It's just a plain red bodysuit and a sleeveless blue hoodie with a utility belt and some random pouches. Yeah, it's straight out of the 90s. Still, I really like this costume. I grew up with it, and to me it's just as iconic as Spider-Man's original costume to me. Nine. The Spider-Man Noir costume. This costume is worn by an alternate version of Peter Parker. This version of Peter lives in the 1930s and got his powers after a spider statue broke, releasing a bunch of spiders and being bit by one, granting him his powers. He then uses his powers to fight organized crime. This costume is almost all black, made up of normal clothes like a vest, boots, and trench coat. The costume looks clean and dapper and really fits into a pulp crime fighter type era. And what I really like about the costume is the stitched up mask with goggles that have white lenses. It really pulls the costume together and makes it work as a Spider-Man suit. Eight. The Scarlet Spider Suit Kane version. Kane was the first Spider-Man clone created, but he was a failure as he became mentally unstable and deformed. His creator, the Jackal, got rid of him and fixed the cloning process and created Ben Riley. He would go on to become an antagonist, but eventually he took on the mantle of the Scarlet Spider after Ben died. Kane's Scarlet Spider suit is also a red body suit, but unlike Ben's, it has designs such as a black spider on the chest and he also wears a black mask with red eyes. The costume is simple with minimal design and it looks great as it looks more intimidating than most other spider costumes, which really fits Kane as a character. The red eyes alone let you know that you are not dealing with your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The Future Foundation Suit This suit was worn by the original Peter Parker. After the Human Torch died, he got better. One of his last requests was for Peter to join the Future Foundation, which Peter honored. When he joined the Foundation, he was given the costume, which could change between his classic blue and red and the white and black Future Foundation uniform. Like Kane's suit, this costume is very minimal, being mostly white with black designs and black eyes, which gives it this clean and somewhat futuristic look. This costume really pops and stands out from many of the other Spider-Man suits, as most tend to be mostly darker colors. Six. The Superior Spider-Man Suit This suit was worn by Dr. Octopus, who had swapped his mind with Peter's, and then Peter died in Dr. Ock's body. Yeah, comics are weird, and he also got better. Well, he was inspired by Peter's heroic life and decided to continue on as Spider-Man, only trying to be better than Peter. Doc Ock wanted to be the superior Spider-Man, of course created what he thought to be the superior costume. Like Kane's suit, when looking you can tell this isn't the Spider-Man you know and love. Gone is the blue, not replaced with black. The mask also has black eyes instead of the white which makes him look more threatening. One of my favorite aspects of this costume is the small red spider backpack that holds four mechanical spider legs. And it really wouldn't be Doc Ock without four metal limbs. Five. The Iron Spider Suit This suit was also worn by the original Peter, given to him by Tony Stark, who had taken him under his wing. Peter eventually got rid of the suit during Civil War when he switched sides. And after Civil War, 
Tony made three upgraded versions of the suit and gave them to three clones of the superhero named MVP, who called themselves the Scarlet Spiders. One look at the suit and you can tell Tony made it. It has the same color scheme as his Iron Man armor. This is one of Peter's most high-tech suits, as Tony added a lot of gadgets, like a gliding device and three mechanical spider arms, similar to the Doc Ock suit. And Tony was right though, the color scheme really does make this suit, and the mechanical arms really give it something extra to stand out. Four. The Miles Morales costume. In the Ultimate Universe, Peter Parker dies, and a boy named Miles Morales who had gained spider powers like him, would take up the mantle of Spider-Man, as he was influenced by Peter's heroics and sacrifice. His costume was given to him by Nick Fury, as he felt the world needed a Spider-Man. This is another minimal costume, that is mostly black, but with a red spider and webbing towards the top of the costume, with white eyes, which keeps the costume from looking too intimidating. This is a really classic design, Trying to come up with something as iconic as the original red and blue suit is hard, but I think they were able to do that with the Miles Morales costume, which I be believe influenced many other suits on this list. The Classic Spider-Man 2099 Costume This suit is worn by the Spider-Man of the future, Miguel O'Hara. He gains Spider-Man-like powers after trying to cure himself from an addictive drug altering most of his DNA to that of the spiders. With his new powers, he starts wearing a costume he wore for the Day of the Dead and fighting the evil corporations of the future. I really love this costume and the Day of the Dead influence. Its spider logo looks like a skull and it has a web-like cape and unlike other suits, the eyes are not filled in. Instead, the mask has a red design outlining where the eyes should be. Really, this is just an awesome design and does scream Spider-Man of the future to me. The Spider-Gwen costume. This suit is worn by an alternate reality version of Gwen Stacy, who was bitten by the radioactive spider instead of Peter Parker, who in this reality became the lizard. In her world, she is known as Spider-Woman, and she tries to do good, even though she is hunted down by the police, including her dad, for the death of Peter Parker. Her costume is mostly black and white, with pink webbing highlights on her arms and hood, her mask is pure white, with pink outlined eyes. I love this costume, it's just visually satisfying to look at. She doesn't have a spider symbol, but when you see the outfit, you can tell it's for a Spider-Man like hero. This balanced look really fits the character, and in my eyes, will be another iconic suit that will influence designers in the future. The Black Suit aka the symbiote. I've used the word iconic several times in this video, but if it holds true for any suit on this list, it would have to be this one. Spider-Man got the suit during the events of the original Secret Wars. He thought it was an advanced suit created by alien technology that amplified his abilities, but it turned out it was an alien symbiote that he had bonded with. The suit did make him stronger, but it also started corrupting him so he eventually got rid of it, and it went to bond with Eddie Brock, who became Venom. Spider-Man would later wear a fabric version of the suit on a few occasions. This suit is pretty much pure black, with a big white tarantula looking symbol on the chest and white eyes. When it comes to minimal, this takes the cake. It's so simple, yet it looks so cool. Really, take a moment to appreciate it. It's simply such an awesome looking costume, and to think, Marvel bought this idea off a of fan for $220. He really lost out. Control! I gotta get it off! Oh, it's too late! It won't let me! Well, that's it, my top 10 favorite Spider-Man costumes. There are plenty of other great ones out there, so if you think a driven one deserves to be on the list, let me know in the comments below. Alright, please like, subscribe, and thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.